So I'm just waiting on my lift. Yep, we're going out for two nights at the Debris Village and Storm Stella's just about to land. So yeah, we should get the brunt of that, especially with that open land there. But yeah, loving it. Can't wait to see the village again. Don't know which shelter I'm sleeping in. So we're driving on the right side of the road in England here. It's for all those Americans that say we drive on the wrong side of the road. We're right, you're wrong. <laughs> Walking across open ground now, very strong winds. Let's see if the wind. <coughs> Heading to the village. So as you see, just got to camp. It's quite windy, absolutely pouring down. All the TPs are fine, the TP's fine, the one I was halfway through building. That wall's still there, good. The trees are rattling around like railings. Just the five trees we have left. So we've got to watch them. Unfortunately, they're, they're not pointing towards us. So if they're going to fall, the wind's blowing this way, which is hitting the back of my shoulder. So yeah, should be nice and sweet in there. As you see, it's bone dry in there. I've got my stuff started to pile in there. Got that one's bone dry too. This lean to is bone dry. This one's bone dry. Nice logs. Start of a wood pile there. Gary told me that he's been out collecting with the digger and uh, piled up a load of firewood and building materials for us over the other side, which we'll see tomorrow. So, yeah. This was originally angled like this. I've checked to see because uh, I thought it might have pushed this way but it hasn't, it's absolutely solid so I think it was like that to start with <laughs> a little bit wonky and the lights in the back you can see they're, um, it's a training horse track and they're just lighted and that just goes around the track and under the lights for the horses that's off, out of our boundaries so that's not our problem I'm going to get my little kitchen area still up still this huge big gap here too for somewhere else, another two shelters maybe. But this one is on the list to get started or finish this trip hopefully. And uh, yeah, my bench is still grand. This may be a longer video than usual, but uh, I'm sure no one will complain. Little gas stove's on the go. I'll uh, do my best to keep you out the wind as much as I can. Just uh, excuse me if I'm shouting, it's hard to hear myself above all the the uh, wind noise. Especially when it's hitting the side of your head and you can't hear anything but the gusts of wind. So yeah, gas stove, got a spare cylinder for that, gonna get that in the back of the shelter. So I treated myself to a new little stove today, just uh, cause my other end, I lost a rubber on it, so. I got this uh, MSR one with multi fuel on it. It's uh, actually quite like it. Big in package, but I've never really been worried about weight or pack size. So I'm just, oh, as you can see, just in the paracord, see, I've got a whole new uh, roll also. Stores boiling away. Well, cooking away, it's not boiling yet. Close. So the shelter that I started last time, I had one main wall up, which is solid. So I still got the back to do, and then this wall, then the roof. I need to sort some out about the top of this because it's peeled down and exposed the tarp which isn't too bad, that's the only damage that shelter's sustained it's a little bit of tidying up bench is all good, been straightened lean to is spot on this shelter here is concerning me a little bit I've tried to move the pole and straighten it and 
try to move the roof in any way and it's physically impossible with the weight that's on it. So I think that's actually going to be alright like that. Might put in another one just to support it. I think the weight of the lean-to may have tilted it a bit. But it's solid now, as I say, it's set in now. So it should be good. It still looks a bit shit, but... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do, I'll do something about it, I'll sort some out. There's my shelter there, which is awesome still. That's my favourite one. Got my my uh, baby bag and sleeping bag all there. Look at this nice seasoned log. It's already splitting. Awesome. Fire's going. It's a little bit wild as you can see. Just used a pack of fire layers. Easy, simple, and instant fire. Some pallets on there. Well, broken up pallet that I had left over, and and uh, some logs that I had drying. And I put this bit down here just to save the area in front of the fire getting too marshy. So, yeah, nice little fire going. It'll catch soon because those logs on the top are dro bone dry so it should be a grand one just needs the centre to catch properly shan't be too long that wind is insane and this is like inside the village and it's got an entire horseshoe of shelters all the way around it. And it's just whipping right in like... It's not coming into the shelter though, which is uh, quite surprising. So now I have literally a wall of fire in front of my shelter. The heat's proper circular and it's lovely and warm. It's out of the wind and it's just what you want, really. Everything's just nice and awesome over there, so in my bed. some uh, pork and caramelised red onion sausages and two nice big roll baguette things. <laughs> I'm going to find a grill and get one on. I've got one up there. It's in a little stash area. got an oven up there too. My pork and caramelised sausages on. Just got a really, really low ash here. Just pulled it forward and pushed a log there to steady the back of the grill on. And I'll just keep this ash really, really low and just keep on turning the sausages and they'll cook right to the centre. Just if you have them like on a bit too hot, they'll obviously burn on the outside and be raw in the middle. Which is quite often how a lot of people get food poisoning from like barbecues and this sort of cooking you know because they burn it on the outside and assume it's cooked start oh that's burning my fingers <laughs> The wind are just like really, really powerful. Right on the few trees I have. It's 
So if only you had smell a vision, you'd smell the caramelised red onions right now. And uh, it is mouth watering. <sighs> Big sandwiches. Mm. So I'm just sitting indulging. Seriously indulging. I bent my rolls and I got some cream slices and coffee slightly squashed. Pretty cool chill night. I think I'm uh, just going to start work tomorrow and call it a night. See if tomorrow brings better, better weather. Not that I'm fussed, I still, uh, we'll still sort some out tomorrow. Enjoy my sausage rolls. Yeah. Glad I wore the wellies. Very wet away from camp. Some swampy areas too and like on low land areas, the water table's right, right over. So, well, I'll show you that tomorrow. We'll catch you all in a couple of hours. Good morning. <laughs> I've just had a bit of a catastrophe. Burnt myself with my new stove. Kind of lost the temper with it, and it's uh, yeah, I don't own the stove anymore. <laughs> I was, yeah. Give us a minute. So yeah, there's uh, there's the problem I have. The pump came right off in my hand. <laughs> Yeah, I might take that back when I get home. It's just like, had it going, and then literally every minute you've got to pump it, which I find completely a waste of time and pointless. Rubbish. Right, so today I'm going to get a fire going now because I need a brew, because my stove's a bit shit. <laughs> I'm not bitter or anything. stop for a bit I'm gonna carry on later on so we'll get sorted get some socks on too because I've just got my wellies on <laughs> so I'm heading over to see what wood we've got and this is pretty much the path I've walked into this place over the past year <laughs> so uh, yeah it's as you can see the ground Quite marshy in places. Oh wow. Oh, see the mounds there. Oh, that is wood. Oh my god. Gary. Oh, I need to turn this camera off because I'm gonna start running. So this this is what I had left out of my original pile that I built the other shelters out of. This is pretty much where I was harvesting. A pile that was left for us. I've had my chainsaw in here, some little logs to burn for later, I think. I haven't got my chainsaw with us, but it's been in here, but... And Gary's been in with his pickup truck and his, uh, not pickup truck, his tractor and grappling hook. And he said he dropped a little bit of firewood off for us. <laughs> wow! He wasn't wrong, was he? That is a lot of wood. There's another pile up behind it too. Oh, there's neat lengths there. They could do to finish that shelter. <laughs> what a treat. these bits here the short but if you pack them in I'll show you how we'll build a wall out of these later even though they're short if you put pegs in and you pack loads and loads and loads in there it's uh, still a good sturdy wall fire's going now finally get a coffee on 
dragged in some bits also just uh, for bits of firewood off the top of that but then there's two beams like this I got off that firewood pile there so that one there just take it off just have to just use it as firewood it could be multiple things you know or even because this wall I've got here that's one wall of another shelter and I wanted to build it kind of like square with an open front and a door and then some kind of cool roof but uh, this is as far as I got with it last time I was here so there's still the back to do and then this full side which is going to come to all this stump here so it'll be quite a wide one So these pegs are going to be the base of my wall pretty much, the support beams. So I've got two there, two here and only one there because they're going to go flush in against this one and this is going to be the end support to stop it from falling in that way so you don't need one there. That's the wall level with that. just stack double started working with my softy jacket on underneath my Gore-Tex jacket just because it was so cold. But I'm warming up now so I'm taking, I took some layers off. Keep my waterproof layer on though because it's still a little bit gusty and 
drizzling. So that's where we are with that. <laughs> At the moment anyway. Back's done, side's done. Got that just because I've been walking on it a lot and I don't want to get it too muddy. Started the basing for this, got to get the pegs in and then I'm just going to start stacking in that. I need to go and get more wood. But I'm going to have bacon first because I'm starved. Doing the, building a wall before breakfast is uh, the way to build up an appetite. You all know it. Time for bacon. It's still raining. Some colour on there now. There's a hole in the lean to too. Two, two. <laughs> Quite a big one there. And there. I'll get to that later. I'll add that to my mental to do list. That's my bacon and my baguettes now. I'm gonna, I've got enough bacon for an, an, another baguette too, so I'm gonna make it up and wrap it in tin foil. And then if I uh, can pop it in my pocket and uh, have a wander around the yard, see if I can find anyone that wants a bacon baguette. <laughs> Says Weston. That's me wandering along now, heading to the yard. My bribing tour. <laughs> Didn't know better bribes than a bacon roll from the chef. Just found another big pile of wood, but that's well far away from a camp. The uh. The landowner's enjoying my bacon baguette, which I'm happy about. Yeah, plodding on back to camp, back to work, I think. So I'm going to start on this side too. Not that, that's just sitting there. Yeah, it's a good uh, two foot high already. Getting there. Got this marker too, so that's where the door's going to be. This is going to be a wall here too. Started to get a front bit of base front wall up. This one's doing quite well too. Still a good two foot to go, and then two foot to go on that one. And then we'll be level all the way around. I'm just plodding on nice and slowly. It's still raining quite a bit on and off. All these tracks are doing the job to keep it the mud at bay. Chuffed a bit with this. It's taking some doing, but so this is where I am with it now. Got all the walls leveled off, just this one to finish. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. I like it. Be awesome once it's finished and all the walls are padded and that. And the tarps on it. Nice and big. So I've got the two beams up and the cross beam and then I started to put ribs on the roof. I've also entirely slatted the entire floor and then a little raised bit there to sleep on. I'm just going to use crates in this one or pallets, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the wall to here too also and put in another little artificial wall there. It's looking awesome. Big pile of pine. It's been out here, it's where some old pine trees have been cut down. So I'm just collecting that. Back to the village. So it's now tarped, the roof's slatted. Started just to get loads of debris and start piling it on top of it. Looking pretty cool.
Got me some sweet and sour meatballs on and some water for some noodles. Just a quick lunch and I'm gonna get back to work. Just need to get a lot more thicker pine. A lot more debris on top of it. Wear the tarp down, it'll look pretty awesome. And again, finish this bit here. But this might end up being another trip. I'm just gonna start taking it a little bit slow now and getting firewood for tonight. Just because we're doing a lot in at the moment. Definitely need some more wood for later. Me a lunchtime dessert too. Hmm. We're getting dark soon. It's been as well, it's raining again. Just light drizzle. Just having a little breather for 10. Let my lunch digest. And I'm gonna go into firewood. That's me calling it a day now with the tools and the, the building. Pretty awesome and it's a good place to stop. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I've built up my fire too, put lots of nice big thick logs on it. So it'll burn right later on. That's the <laughs> top of the shelter, completely pine now. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty epic just in there, wide door, just uh, a lot of overhang pine there to protect it. I'll show you in the morning better. So I've got the oven on the go for tea. And I've got two beef wellington, which is full of steak and mushrooms inside the uh, pastry and I'm just going to basically cook them get the door on in a second I'm just waiting to see I'm going to have to go and collect more firewood because uh, this pastry is going to need a low for a while I've turned the fire up quite a lot as you can see and the pastry started to get a little bit moister so it's starting to cook. Not very long, give it another 20 minutes and I'll check on it. Little stove's burning away in the back of my shelter. Beef wellington's still I've just checked on it, the paste is starting to brown off a bit. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to get some veg and potatoes on. So I've got the potatoes on and the beef wellington. It's looking totally awesome. Look at them. Smells awesome. Oh, fire's proper raging. My potatoes are almost boiled too. I just had these in on the low. Look how crisp and awesome they look. Oh, the smell is awesome too. It's just Brilliant. <laughs> oh, the rain's on quite heavy now. It's going to cool down the oven now. And there we go, people. Is it finished? Got my carrots, potatoes. Sugar snaps, baby corn, 
broccoli. You can see the, the fillet steak. And then there's mushrooms and that in there. And onions and pastry and oh yes, that's how we do it. And what have we got for dessert? Apple strudel, <laughs> loving it. Might as well, I've got the oven on anyway. Look at that, strudel's rising nicely. Bit longer though. Look at that, still a bit longer. Just turned it. Need to go and get some more wood. And there we go, I just kinda simply eat custard. <laughs> I'm just gonna have this with my coffee and get my ass to bed. Yep, that's me all snug in my bed. We'll catch you all in a couple of hours. Still raining. Uh, morning. Oh. Not rain. It's just rained a lot this trip. I'm not that fussed with. I got that whole shelter built. So I'm sweet. I'm gonna get up and uh, pack up now because my lift's coming in 45 minutes. There's all the covering I put on that last night. Looks pretty cool. You see how much water is above with all the rain we've had. Well guys, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see y'all soon. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'd probably say this now. That stove, the mullet fuel stove, that was, uh, that was just complete hot-headedness on my part. I'm like that first thing in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, moving on. <laughs>